language in yes. a certain way. And everyone takes on, of course, everyone has a different, absolutely unique meaning because sure. we're all unique yeah. with our experiences and things like that. So in doing grief work, to get people to apply, which I think is the highest uh, spiritual principle next to love is forgiveness. When I know that that's what we're doing, but so many people would revolt because they had a definition of forgiveness that uh, kept them stuck. Mm -hmm. So we would invent a new word yeah. or a new sentence so that they didn't have to use the forgive word in order for them to unblock enough to be able to apply the principle. Give me an example of a word or a way you would do that with a certain particular okay. person. So say somebody is unfolding a relationship that yep. was uh, challenging or hard or abusive. I, I don't want to pick the thing. Sure. And they're like, I'm never forgiving that person. Yep. And I'm like, okay. So it's like you uh, resentment, the resentment that you're holding or shame or guilt or pain or whatever you're holding is like taking poison and hoping the other person dies. You taking it and poisoning yourself. You taking poison. Yep. This is what's happening yep. when you hold that energy. Yep. You're at dis-ease. You are taking poison and hoping the other person dies by a definition yep. that isn't serving you, and that's your block. You can go no further as long as you define it that way. Yeah. So let's take the telescope that's looking at the mountain, the same telescope, but just look at a different peak. Yep. And what's the new peak? Give me the a new, new peak is this, and I could help them choose it. I love myself so much that I am not going to hold this pain and poison myself. I love that. That's forgiveness. Perfect. And once they, they get that it's all about love, that forgiveness is an act of self-compassion. It has nothing whatsoever to do with the other person. Sure. It doesn't mean you condone. It doesn't mean you forget. It doesn't mean you have to be in relationship with that person. Mm -hmm. What it means is you love yourself so much that you'll move heaven and earth in the love for yourself. You'll move heaven and earth, even getting over a definition that hasn't served you. That's amazing. Yeah.